My name is Ivo and I would like to share a bit of information about the circuit that I'm working on right now. I would like to share some concepts about how to generate electricity, what is needed. And I want to thank you for donating. Let's start off with that. Thank you for donating. It is much appreciated. It makes the work possible and the work is needed because the world needs this new technology. And as always, I'll share all the results I have with this new circuit. What is interesting is when ideas are grounded in reality, when they work, when the light is bright from the lamp, as shown in the April 2019 video. I intend to make this light a lot brighter. And I have some ideas about that. One of them I will explain now in this video. Enjoy. Electricity. It exists when voltage and current are present together in phase. Electricity is created from the fusion of the dielectric field and the magnetic field. So the fusion of the magnetic and the dielectric field creates electricity. But how do we do this? We do this by using magnetic induction and dielectric induction at the same time and in the same space. Magnetic induction we all know from the AC transformer. Dielectric induction is less known, but it is shown in the April 2019 video. The series resonant L2 coil is impulsed and it creates a longitudinal pressure field that is picked up by the L3 coil and the L3 coil clearly shows power from it because the light, the 28 watt halogen light is lit as can be seen in the video. This is absolutely new because a series resonant coil cannot produce power by itself. But when it's impulsed, then power is generated. But again, this is only a demonstration of dielectric induction. We need magnetic induction as well. And then we have only one side of the L3 coil that is being impulsed. Why not the other side as well? So we'll make a sandwich with L3 in the middle and impulse it from both sides at both maximums, the maximum positive and the maximum negative voltage of the sine wave. The whole system that I'm working on right now is an extension of the April 2019 circuit. We have the L1 and the L2, which are coupled. We have the L3 that is distanced. And then again, we have the L2 and the L1, but now from the other circuit that I made that is mirrored in functionality. Totally a stack of five coils. I need to do a lot of testing with this circuit before I can really show results, but I wanted to give you a glimpse of what I'm working on right now. It only makes sense to impulse both maximums of the sine wave, the maximum positive and the maximum negative. This complement circuit does everything the other way around. It has a low side switching L1 that produces a positive impulse that is creating a negative DC offset in the L2 coil. I have a question for you all. If you see a ring vortex, and some people might have seen the smoke rings that are produced by the vapors, if you imagine two of these ring vortices that are stationary and close together, what would their interaction look like? This is something I really like to know. I 
would like to see it in nature and I don't know how. So if some of you have an idea how to uh, look at the interaction of two ring vortices, two ring toroids that are rotating, I would love to see it, preferred in nature. If you have a link, please share it in the comments below. Thank you. Donations are always much appreciated because this work is all open source, meaning that I will share all the information that I gain with the community that is interested, and that is you. You can fund this open source research by giving a donation on my PayPal account that is listed below in the description of the video. If you have questions, you can do so in the comment section below. Please subscribe, like, and share this video, and turn on notifications if you want to get a personal call when my next video is out. I will share more about the results in the future, as always, open source, so everybody can benefit. Thank you for watching and see you next time.